All right, are you tired of hearing everyone talking about this stuff? You're tired of Thomas DeLauer talking about the benefits of apple cider vinegar, and now every time you go on YouTube, it seems like every single fitness guru is touting the benefits of apple cider vinegar. I will be the first to admit that I love this stuff, and I am a huge proponent and a huge advocate for its use, but I also want people to know that there are other things that you can utilize that are gonna give you similar benefits to acetic acid, which is the active component, in apple cider vinegar. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a few different things that you can start using if apple cider vinegar isn't exactly your cup of, well, apple cider vinegar. But first, let me say, aside from the acetic acid that's in apple cider vinegar, there's one very unique thing that other things just don't come close to, and that's the fact that the mother, which is usually the active or the biologically active component of the apple cider vinegar, is very, very powerful contains unique protein strands and different enzymes that actually literally help your DNA and your RNA and help digestion. So although apple cider vinegar is going to be the top of the food chain when it comes down to this list, I do want you to know that it's for that reason. Okay, but let's talk about the acetic acid because by and large, that's the main component of apple cider vinegar that makes it so awesome and makes it unique. And there's a lot of studies that have pointed to the different benefits of apple cider vinegar, but they're usually linking right back to that primary component, which is acetic acid. Now this acetic acid does two main things within our body that we're concerned with, at least when it comes down to fat burning. One is going to be reducing your glucose levels, and the other is going to be improving the glycemic index of a given food or improving the satiety that's resulted from a given food. What that means is when you eat something, apple cider vinegar can reduce the impact on your body as far as the negative implications are concerned. So let's take a look at some science. The Journal of Diabetes Research did a study not that long ago that took a look at apple cider vinegar and acetic acid in particular. And what they found was that there is a direct relationship with the consumption of acetic acid and fasting glucose levels. In fact, quite dramatically, they found that fasting glucose levels in type 2 diabetics decreased dramatically after just one to two applications of apple cider vinegar or acetic acid. Now, what blood sugar is, is going to be ultimately the energy that's flowing around through your body in the bloodstream. So if we increase glucose uptake and reduce fasting glucose, it means the cells are using that glucose for energy versus it just floating around in the bloodstream. Now, they also found in this same study that apple cider vinegar or acetic acid ended up reducing plasma levels of triglycerides and also plasma levels of insulin. And again, if you've seen my videos before, you know that insulin is definitely going to be a big root of why or why not we either burn fat or don't burn fat. But also when you can reduce plasma levels of triglycerides, you reduce the essential storage of adipose tissue. You're making life a lot easier for yourself, making it a lot harder for your body to actually store fat. So additionally, the European Journal of Clinical Nutrition published a study that took a look at the satiety hormones and the glycemic index of a given food when used in conjunction with, of course, acetic acid. What they did is they gave test subjects 1.1 grams of acetic acid, or 1.3, or 1.5, or 1.7 grams of acetic acid. So what they found was that there is a direct relationship with how much acetic acid was consumed and the levels of satiety hormones. So as there was more acetic acid in the picture, there was much more satiation, meaning test subjects were not nearly as hungry. But they also found there was a significant decrease in blood glucose levels Again, linearly based on how much acetic acid they were consuming. So the 1.7 gram acetic acid group ended up having a much more dramatic reduction in fasting blood glucose than the 1.1 group. Of course, thus proving that acetic acid is really where the magic lies. Okay, so let me give you the alternatives because that's what you're really here for. The first thing you need to know is that acetic acid is in all vinegars. It's not just apple cider vinegar. So again, apple cider vinegar has some unique benefits because it has the mother involved. Okay, a lot more enzymatic activity, different protein strands. But any vinegar that you use, so if you end up using balsamic vinegar on your salad, you're still gonna get the benefits of acetic acid. In fact, most of the studies that tout the benefits of apple cider vinegar are touting the benefits of acetic acid. Okay, so you get all the benefits of that if you're just putting some vinegar on your salad. The next thing I want you to be paying attention to is going to be having Having fermented foods. Okay, we're talking about things like kimchi, we're talking about things like sauerkraut. Those utilize the same vinegars to instill the fermentation process, so they're going to contain high amounts of acetic acid. In fact, as the fermentation process occurs, you're going to have even more acetic acid that is produced. Now, additionally, you can use kombucha in the same fashion. The only reason that people don't want to use kombucha is because acetic acid that's coming from apple cider vinegar can be used in a fasted state and essentially not break a fast. Whereas if 
if you were going to have kombucha or if you were going to have sauerkraut or kimchi, you're breaking a fast and you're going to elicit a little bit of an insulin response. Whereas if you have straight acetic acid coming from apple cider vinegar, you're not eliciting that insulin response. So it's safe to do in a fasted state or safe to do immediately when you wake up in ketosis. Now, one of the things that you may be shocked to know is that if you use some no sugar added ketchup, you can get a very similar benefit to having a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Again, you're not having the benefits of the protein strands and the enzymatic activity, but you are going to get the fasting blood glucose reduction. That's what we're really after when it comes down to burning fat. So the short answer is, if you're after apple cider vinegar for body composition reasons, remember that you can use all kinds of vinegars. But if you're after it for the myriad of other health benefits, you may just want to suck it up, quite literally, because you're going to want to use a straw so you don't hurt the enamel on your teeth when you're using apple cider vinegar, and really just get on the ACV train. Now, don't just listen to every single guru that's out there on the internet telling that apple cider vinegar is going to fix all of your injuries and fix all of your health concerns. But it is definitely something that you can add to your diet and will be a value add to whatever you're after as far as your health journey is concerned. As always, keep it locked in here on my channel and I will see you in the next video.